Hi everyone, I'm refilming my diet video for Bambi. So I hope to keep it to about 10 minutes if possible. Um, sorry it's took so long to get up. Um, I've just been really busy and stuff like that. But um, first off I just want to do a quick um, thank you shout out to Amanda from the Binky Bunny Shed. And she sent me this um, lovely sample. Um, of hair and she actually uses um, hair for pets and it just says um, just as just a little message and then it just says keep up the good work um, your channel is awesome there's a little smiley face and it just says love Amanda and the furry gang so thank you so much for this Amanda um, it smells like it smells amazing it's really coarse and it's kind of hair that Bambi really likes so um, I'll try it for this and if she likes it hopefully I can order some for myself um, so yeah thank you so much for that um, Amanda just because um, I think here for pet you have to order like a big bale or a big bag or something and um, obviously I don't want to order like a large quantity if Bambi doesn't like it so Amanda can kindly offer to just send me a sample and see if I liked it so Thank you so much for that. I'll be trying that out with Bambi and hopefully she'll really like it. It smells really nice. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with that. So I'll just go straight into the video and um, obviously the most important thing for rabbits is because the fibre vase is hair, grass and similar forage like that. So Bambi does get a wide variety in her diet but um, she really likes um, the oxbow hair but I always get try to get Timothy hair. Because Timothy hair isn't as high in calories as alfalfa hair and it's just better for them overall. Bambi really likes this, however Oxbow is quite expensive. Um, I would recommend this hair if you can afford it. But I couldn't really afford to keep up with um, getting this in large amounts. Because I've only given Bambi like um, a tiny bit off the top of the pack. Because I'm mixing it in with other hair. But... Um, yeah, so she gets Timothy here and she gets unlimited all the time, constantly. Um, another thing I give her a lot of is ready grass. And um, if you haven't heard of ready grass, it's just dried. It's basically just grass, that's it. There's nothing added to it. And it's normally it's normally for horses. But um, what happened was the company realised that people were buying it for rabbits and guinea pigs and chinchillas and things. So they brought out smaller bags. And I actually get this from a local feed warehouse, but... You can get this online, you can pick up the massive sacks pretty cheap if you have a lot of pets. Um, and yeah, Bambi probably gets like, she probably gets half of this a day mixed in with her hair and her pellets. Another thing Bambi gets a lot of, which I keep in this pink tub here, so she's got, it's sort of half full at the moment, is various dried flowers, weeds and things like that. Um, in here we've got blackcurrant and raspberry leaf. Marigold, dandelion, marshmallow, plants, uh, flowers, rose petals, dandelion, leaves. Um, this is out of the a naturals mix I got, which I will do a review. And these are like Bambi's favourite thing in this. And it's just popped corn, I think. It seems like corn. Um, and she really likes it. It's just dried out. Um, and yeah, she really likes that. And there's loads of other things in here. Peppermint, thyme, basil, there's dried bits of beetroot, very few bits. There's dried papaya, parsnip. And basically I take about, um, probably like about that much and sprinkle it in a pellet every evening and she really likes that. Um, Bambi gets, every morning she gets her um, ready grass topped up she gets a small handful of this and she gets hair if I'm putting her in the run it's a nice day I don't give her anything I just put straight in the run so she can graze and every night at about half six she gets her pellets um, I feed um, Harrington's because I've always fed these um, I did start on Excel because everyone said they were the best however I found them too rich for my rabbits and because they get such a wide variety um, they used to get Excel about six years ago and um, I spoke to a few people, pet owners and breeders and they had the same problem um, with basically like it gives them sloppy poos because when you're feeding a wide variety 
it has such a high um I can't remember exactly now, I think it's like a high protein or high fibre count, I can't really remember. But anyway, I think it's protein. So I switched to the Wag Optimum, which it used to be, and it's now called Harrington's, and I've never had an issue. In fact, Bambi's coat hardly sheds when you pick her up. And you know, when you put them against you, sometimes you get hairs on you. I never ever get that with this. She It holds the weight really nice. Now Bambi gets... Um, in the summer she gets one teaspoon and in the winter when she or if she isn't getting as much veg one day for any reason I give her two scoops so what you've got to remember is inside the rabbit's stomach this is going to swell um, so a small handful like this will swell to maybe it's four times bigger than what it actually is or five times bigger so if you're giving them lots of pellets I've seen a lot of videos with people feeding like a full rabbit um, feed bowl absolutely full you want to really cut that down and don't listen to the back of packs in my opinion because um, some of these packs for example say to feed 150 grams to a fully grown rabbit which is just crazy it's absolutely just a lot way too much um, I will cover more of these individual things like I do plan on doing a review on the Harrington's pellets there's also a tiny few supreme which Bambi likes them, but I just get a few to mix in because um, I just prefer the Harrington pellets, and Bambi does. And I won't go too in-depth with each thing because I do plan on doing lots of reviews. Um, the other thing she gets in small quantities is treats. Now, um, these are barley rings. You can get these from rat rations, and they're actually meant to be for horses, so you can get them from horse feed shops. And it's basically just barley. And Bambi loves these and every day she gets one in with her pellets, which I've which is fine. Um I know lots of breeders and um pet owners who give these every day and don't have an issue. If your rabbit's prop you know, on the chunky side, I would probably give them every few days or once a week. Um and I will do a separate video on all of Bambi's treats, but these are her favourite and these are beetroot um crunchies from Vitacraft and she absolutely loves these. And she not Vitacraft, sorry, Vita Treat, and she gets possibly one or two a day sometimes, and then other times she might not go, she might go like three days without them, so it just depends, but yeah, just sparingly, as with all treats. Um, I haven't covered veg and herbs and things because I did do a video on that before, but um, basically not too much, you don't want to upset the stomach, it can give them diarrhoea. <coughs> Excuse me. Stick to herbs and leafy greens and things like root vegetables should be given as a treat. Um, so that's everything for the rabbit diet video. That's what Bambi gets and her weight is perfect, her health is perfect. She's never been to the vet with an issue, touch wood, um, regarding to dental or anything like that. She's got really sharp teeth. She's really alert and this diet has not only worked for Bambi but I used to keep a lot of rabbits. And a lot of guinea pigs um, and guinea pigs got a similar diet pretty much identical except for obviously guinea pig pellets and again this um, the one thing I would recommend is definitely give them lots of forage dry bark Bambi gets bar um, like apple sticks and she'll eat the bark off them um, but basically pellets should be seen as a supplement almost and um, definitely measure the food out. You don't want to be get, um, putting heaped handfuls in. This isn't the main food. Just because it says a complete pellet, it does not contain everything your pet needs. Don't give them too much. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Um, again, thank you to uh, Amanda for sending this. That's fantastic. Um, and I hope Bambi likes this. I'm pretty sure she will. Because... It's the kind of hair she really likes and um, I actually used to work on a farm and it pretty much almost smells identical to the kind of farm hair we used to get and like the giant, giant bill so you can tell it's really, really fresh. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and um, gerbil and hamster diet video will be up soon and after that I have some updated reviews on hair and reviews on some of the products and then I plan on doing some quite original 
videos um, and a bit different from everything else that I've done on my channel so hopefully people will enjoy that so thank you so much for watching and um, thanks again to Amanda and um, bye